Thank you for standing by, and welcome to the SureTamp Steam Espresso Cleaning Webcast. During today's webcast, attendees will be in listen-only mode. There will be a Q&A session at the end of today's call. If you have a question during the presentation, you may submit it online by entering it into the QA panel. If you're in full screen view, click the question icon located in the floating toolbar at the lower side of your screen. Simply type a question into the dialog box and click the send button. If you're in the split screen mode, the Q&A panel is already open and is located on the lower right side of your screen. As a reminder, this presentation is being recorded. If you are experiencing technical issues, please contact WebEx Technical Support. Our speaker today is Guido Day, Manager Technical Support. Guido, please go ahead. Hi, everybody. It's Guido again. Uh, today, in this session, I would like to talk about the correct cleaning on this uh, two-step bun sure temp machine. Um, first, let's talk a little bit about uh, the supplies you need to clean the equipment. Um, it always comes with a cleaning tablet, or we call it the kafitza. This is for the brew mechanism, the coffee section from that unit. Um, this tablet later goes here on top um, into the opening and falls into the brew chamber. Uh, the next one, what we need is the rinser cleaner. This cleaner is a milk cleaner and we use this to clean the steam wand and the milk build up on that steam wand there. We have as well here a brush. This brush is not necessarily for a barbecue or something like this. This is needed to clean coffee debris around the brew mechanism. And then uh, the last portion what we have here is uh, we have basically um, a cylinder which prevents that any customer which would be walking by or a crew person while the machine is dispensing hot water out of the brew chamber uh, is getting hurt there. Uh, we as well need uh, two pitchers uh, where we basically prepare our cleaning solution and the rinsing solution for the steam wand there inside. Let's talk about how frequently do we have to clean this unit. Um, the unit always requires a cleaning 24 hours once or once a day. So when you make a first ring at 7 in the morning and you run a cleaning cycle at 7 o'clock at night when you close the machine, and that's normally what we would recommend to clean the machine before you shut your facility down for the night uh, because we don't want to have the old coffee sitting in the brew chamber and then the brew chamber is warm, the coffee is caking there inside. This is just, you know, clogging screens. So we would like to do that always at the end of the day. Um, so when you then clean again at 7 o'clock at night and you don't do any drinks after your cleaning, the machine will require then the next cleaning 24 hours from when you make your first drink. So technically you clean the machine at 7 at night, you do your first drink at 7 in the morning, then the 24 hours starts again. And you would have technically time if you run a day longer in the week at 8, 9 or 10, the machine will not lock you out till the next morning at 7 o'clock. So once a day, every 24 hours, uh, but we also have some customers which are using the machine in a higher volume environment. What is a higher volume environment? So if a machine gets past 100 drinks per day, we would like to have a secondary cleaning done throughout the day. Uh, the cleaning only takes around six minutes, so it's not overly bad and interrupts the business. But, uh, you know, we have all the coffee built up there, we, which we would like to get out of the screens to make sure that these screens don't clock. And as well that you're delivering a very good product to your customers, you know, shot after shot after shot. So once a day to every 24 hours, and uh, if a machine makes more than 100 drinks per day, add please a secondary cleaning. Um, if, you in a, if you are in an environment like this, we can always program a secondary cleaning reminder for the crew into these uh, sites so that they actually perform that secondary cleaning to protect the equipment. Um, when we want to start the cleaning cycle, we always go here and we press the can cleaning button. And when we press the can cleaning button, you have basically two options there. Option one is to do a coffee rinse. 
And at that point, we are basically just moving the brew mechanism in its brewing position, and we are letting some coffee run, uh, some water run over the brew mechanism, and uh, that's it. It's a 20 second process. If you want to run the cleaning cycle, you press the clean button, and now the machine prompts you with a picture as well. Uh, it gives you the instructions here. So the first step is always to use the brush and to open the operator door and clean the area around the swiper from the machine. So we open the, uh, the door and you see immediately at that point here that your continue button disappeared. So the brew mechanism is now locked, it cannot move, so it's very secure to reach into the machine. So you open it, um, you go here inside and you swipe the area around the brew mechanism with that brush. When you're done, you close the door again, you press continue, and the machine is asking you to insert one cleaning tablet um, in the cleaning opening. So this tablet goes here on top, you put it in, you press continue. The machine is asking you to put the cylinder in place so that people know that the machine is cleaning. Um, now we are preparing the solution for uh, the steam wand. Uh, the solution is you put ice into a 64 ounce pitcher. Uh, I put that here and I prepared that already and you're adding one ounce of uh, cleaning solution to it. So how do you manage this one? You basically take the you take the um, lid off from that squeezing cylinder here. You squeeze the bottle till you get it into one ounce. At that point then you basically pour it into your cleaning solution and you close again that bottle. Now you take the pitcher and you put the pitcher right here underneath from that steam wand and we press continue. So the machine will now intermittently then start dispensing cleaning solution over the coffee spout as well as it will be intermittently steaming uh, steam into the cleaning solution. Um, we put everything there in place, we press continue. You see we are, we are heating up, we are intermittently turning on the steam wand and the machine tells you how much longer it takes till the next action has to be taken here. Now it's at one and a half minutes. So we have a couple of seconds left now till the next uh, step uh, is coming up on the screen here. And um, you see now that we want to empty that pitcher, rinse it, and then basically fill it up again with water. So I'm taking the existing pitcher away. I prepared a secondary pitcher here for demonstration. So I'm putting this one here in place and I'm pressing now continue. We will hear at one point later, again the machine is steaming. It takes another minute and 45. So at this part of the cleaning, you will see that the machine suddenly starts to steam. And uh, this is basically where we are exchanging the water inside from the steam boiler. Um, so don't be worried and scared about it. That's part of the cleaning routine there as well. The machine has now, as one of the last steps there, 
Uh, we want to make sure that we clean the drip tray, we clean the puck drawer as well, and then uh, wa wipe the touch screen. So I'm removing all my cleaning supplies here. I take my tube away. Um, I will be taking my puck bin. You can now take and rinse the puck bin out um, and make that one clean. Uh, we are asking the customer basically to take the drip tray out, clean the grate, clean the brew, uh, the drip tray here itself because we want to avoid that you have coffee built up there inside. If you see loose coffee beans in it, please make sure that you're removing them and don't put them into the drain tube there because that will eventually be clogging the drain. And if we now press continue, when we have the parts back in, the machine will basically give us 15 seconds to clean our screen with a light, slightly clean cloth, a little bit damp, and uh, you can put some cleaner on it as long as it is not uh, against acrylic. Uh, so as long as it's approved for that one, you can use that as well. And then the machine basically starts to reheat the boilers to get again ready for operations. So this process takes around six minutes, including the heating up, it's perhaps around seven minutes-ish, and uh, then the machine is again ready to heating. You see now again, uh, the coffee portion from the machine is already there. Our steam boiler is grayed out because we are still heating up uh, the steam boiler. As soon as this one is ready, your perch is again available. Uh, take the same cloth here, clean the uh, steam one here. You see now, press the perch button. And now the machine is ready and you can make again drinks for products, for customers. Thanks for listening and have a good day. Hi everybody, so I hope that you took some of the very helpful information here around to how to properly clean a two-step machine. And um, I was wondering if you have any questions you uh, came across and uh, I might be able to answer here right while we're here. So I think with no questions coming up here, I hope you enjoyed uh, the content and uh, you could use this content on a day-to-day -day basis for the operations from the equipment. And um, I hope to see you soon on one of the next uh, webinars. Thank you very much. Have a good day.